Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I have here a Parrot Mind Drone. Yes, indeed. That is a very exciting product for me because, of course, who doesn't love drones? And I've got my unboxing knife right here because it's brand new, sent to me, crisp and pristine. I know that's a little bit unusual for the things I tend to review, but for the first time ever, a brand new drone. So it looks like it might have a camera in it too. So this is the Parrot Mini Drone Travis. Parrot Mini Drone Travis, I might have said Mind Drone, but Mini, it's definitely Mini. Travis, the airborne cargo drone. Fly smoothly, take aerial photos, carry cargo, smartphone control. Ooh, Bluetooth, Google Play, Apple iStore, everything, everything, everything you need to know. Let's see on the back here, what can we see? Got a lean over. Amazing 360 acrobatics, yes. Fly cargo anywhere. Looks like a Lego compatible uh, system. So yeah, might be a little sneaky, sneaky Lego infringement there. Take aerial snapshots. Might have a camera underneath. That's gonna be my guess, but we'll have to see. Fully charged in 25 minutes via maybe hopefully a USB, I'd like that. Removable shields and autopilot. One mini drone, one removable shield, one micro USB charging cable, stickers, one battery, quick start guide. Mm, yes, sir. Let's see if we can get in here then. Quick start guide. My oh my, how times have changed because I remember back in the day, all these sorts of droney type things. Oh, look at that. It's quite nice, isn't it? Just to show you, it's got a bit on the lid showing you all the different things you can buy, but there's the device itself. Locked away nicely with its own little sort of Lego man. It's sort of a, a bit of a, a copy of a Lego man, more like a Duplo. Looks like a battery right here in the corner and the USB lead. So let's see how we get it out of the box. Come on. I'm just gonna gently tug it. So that's gonna be my technique. Gently tugging, tugging away until something happens. It's definitely locked in by this sort of, ah, there we go. It's quite nice cardboard engineering there, so we'll put it on the side. Take out our USB charging wire, and yeah, it looks like, oh, I wanna say that's a standard USB mini. I think it is. Ah, battery, slip that out there. There's the pack with the stickers, and there's our dude. We're going to get him out because he's clearly the most essential part of this whole uh, product here. So there's our drone, there's our battery, and there's dude. I don't know if this guy is called Travis. Maybe that's his name. Hi, uh, hi I'm Travis. Yep, yeah, definitely seems Lego compatible, though this guy's not. He's just a... Uh, then you've got the Lego feet. So just looking at it now, it's pretty cool design actually. It's got a hole right in the back for you to shove your battery in. I'm guessing that just slides right in. That why I guess, let's just try it. Just having a quick look. Yeah, I can see some contacts. I'm gonna put it this way around. So that's the battery label. Slot that right in and boom, he's in. You can see the USB charging port just underneath. Oh, scary enough, the uh, lights are already on. So that obviously acts as an on off switch. There seems to be some sort of sensor underneath and there's a camera right there. So that's like an ultrasonic sensor. So it can probably detect its own height. It has various Lego style mounting points around the edge here. So just sort of show you them there. You can see them. They're just sort of dotted around one there, a couple on the corners. So you can sort of build on this. That's kind of groovy, to be honest with you. That's a lot of fun. If it has the power to weight ratio to do that. So I'm gonna now find my phone because I think that's the next stage. Okay, I finally got the uh, drone connecting. And I've got the app working. It's a tablet app, didn't work on my phone. So all you do is you hit start and now it's technically connected to this. So all I have to do is click take off and it'll fly. Just to go through the controls, you've got the battery in the bottom right corner, battery meter here. You've got the camera option here. This is the trick. If you double tap on here, it'll do a trick so you can choose what trick. I'm gonna choose a forward roll. Uh, this is to turn left, turn right, go up, go down. This is to go forward, backwards, move sideways to the left, move sideways to the right. So it's nice and simple. Not too many uh, complications in terms of the controls. So all I'm gonna do is try to leave it somewhere. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna put it just on the floor here in front of the camera. And then you can see what I'm gonna be up to. So I'm gonna hit the takeoff button. 
I'm going to put my fingers on the controls. Oh, you didn't see that, but it crashed. <laughs> it did have a slight amount of drift there. Let's, I'm going to get it up sooner. Oh, there's too many obstacles in here. Checking this out in case I've done it a mischief really. It doesn't seem to be behaving. Right, so I'm going to launch it from my hand. Throw it. obstacles in here but it does it is going okay I think that's about as much flying as I should do in here but yeah it's good just to sort of let you know it's really awesome it does work really well but give it a bit of room the trick's good the camera I haven't tested yet because I think it needs to be up in the air really to get the full benefit of it but uh, yeah mmm smells hot <laughs> yeah lovely little drone Definitely, if you're fancy one, get one for your kids. It does work better. If you can mess around with the Bluetooth and get the Bluetooth working, I had to upload the firmware from this from the Parrot website, but it was very clear on how to do this. So yeah, if you need a PC and a USB cable for that. Please uh, comment down below, click like, subscribe, and share, of course. And as ever, thanks for watching.